Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Hello, welcome to this class. Today's discussion will be on cut sets for accident scenarios, uh, which is a part of bow tie. You can say it is basically the event tree site. So, let us see uh, what we will discuss. We will discuss two things. Uh, in the event tree, there will be different uh, pivotal events. Actually, these are nothing but the protection configuration against the initiating event in terms of event tree and top event in terms of fault tree occurs. So, so, then when the top event in terms of fault tree occurs or initiating event in terms of event tree occurs, then the system behave against this fault in such a manner that the recovery will be maximized. So, now <coughs> depending on the system configurations, there will be different layers of protection. So, each of the layer can fail. So, if you want to know that how these layer layers fail, so ultimately you require to develop fault tree. So, that is why we are, we are saying that fault tree, fault tree linking with accident sequence accident sequence will be developed using event tree and at each of the node of the event tree the success and failure of the protection measure which are basically known as pivotal events. So, those will be understood using fault tree. So, that is the first part. Then <coughs> what we will do? We will we'll first discuss a general example and then we will go for the pressure tank example because this pressure tank example we have discussed in previous lectures and we are trying to bring that pressure tank example in all the uh, lectures as much as possible so that uh, there will be the common thread that how the different concepts methodologies and tools and techniques are employed and this can be done for a particular uh, with reference to a particular example. In this process also we will develop the uh, along the accident scenario or sequence the cut sets. So, cut sets for accident scenarios or sequences. So, every sequence gives one scenario. So, accident scenario is the end state of the event tree. So, these are the things we will be discussing today by 30 minutes of time and uh, the resource is basically the same book probably P R A actually P R A M for engineers and scientists by Komamoto and Hinle and by this time you are familiar with this book and you will get that most of the materials I have taken from this book. Let us understand it fully. So, initiating event. In event tree, the starting point is even initiating event. Initiating event should occur. If you go back to bow tie, then you will find out this is the event which is the top event in the 
fall tree. So that is the linking point and in bow tie this event is also known as center event. Actually in bow tie this is center event. So in in fall tree it is top event and in event tree it is initiating event and ultimately what happened in event tree we progress along this depending on the protection configuration here and in fall tree we try to find out the we try to find out the root causes. So, whatever may be the we are <coughs> we are starting with initiating event let it, let it may be the center event. So, if it occurs so immediately you have seen in with earlier examples that the system behaves in such a manner that the occurrence can be the effect of this occurrence can be minimized. So, let there are in this particular example where there are two systems one after another and ultimately both are independent they do not uh, depend on each other. So, given this initiating event the success and failure of the two systems are known let it be or you have to find out. By success we means that if this event occur then the system will be able to fight against this wrong wrong thing and then uh, some kind of accident sequence or scenario will be generated and if it is not then what will happen another kind of situation will generate or scenario will generate. Now question is that depending on uh, if system 1 is successful or failure then system 2 will be activated more many a times what happen if system 1 is sufficient enough to, to recover or to mitigate the effect then system 2's uh, action is not required. But many a times it is also required because layer 1 the system 1 may not be sufficient enough. So, here in this particular case we have branched the system 1 and system 2 in terms of success and failures. So, even if system 1 is successful, but system 2 will also act and when system 1 is failure system 2 also act. So, as a result there are 4 accident sequences means initiating event occurs then success success this is one sequence initiating event occurs then system 1 success system 2 failure second sequence initiating event occurs first system failure second system successful third sequence initiating event occur first system failure second system failure this is the fourth sequence. So, if we say that <coughs> that these are basically protection against the initiative mechanism initiating event then obviously when both the protection fails so that S4 that will be the most harmful whereas if both the uh, system is successful this will be safe or least harmful. So in in accident scenarios we means these states accident S1 is scenario 1 S2 scenario 2 S3 scenario 3 S4 scenario 4. Okay. Now, our job here is that link the fault tree with this sequence. So, how do you link the failure of system 1 or failure of system 2 these are dependent on some other some other subsystem component or some other root causes. So, as a result you can develop the fault tree for failure of system 1 as well as fault tree for failure of system 2. So, we have given hypothetical fault tree here because this is just for understanding purpose it is not a case it is a it is a demonstration of the concept. So, for the time being <coughs> let system 1 fails and there are 
C A B F D and E these are the basic events which ultimately leads to system 1 failure and this is the fault 3 here G O G 0 is one gate or gate and G 1 is and gate or gate and and gate and this is another and gate ok. And similarly, <coughs> when system 2 fails, so there is one OR gate and there are 3 basic events, any one of these leads to system 2 fails. Now, what is our job? We want to find out the car seats along the accident paths, the along accident paths or car seats for accident scenarios. Now, if I consider S1, then this is first cast set, S2, this is the cast set, S3 and S4 like this. So, you may be wondering that how the what is it happening here. What is S1? S1 is basically initiating event occurs, system 1 and system 2 are successful. Okay. So, if we consider system 1 failure is F1 then its success will be F 1 bar. If system 2 failure is F 2, then its success will be F 2 bar. So, then it is basically F 2 and this one F 2 bar. Okay. Now, if I <coughs> consider that this has this occur this has exist, then this F 1 bar and F 2 bar this and this, these two if occur then the S 1 will occur and and in terms of cut set um, we in, the, we'll, we'll, in terms of scenario we will write like this. Okay. So, now for S 2 you see that S 2 will be F 1 bar this successful, system 1 successful, system 2 failure. So, first one successful and second one failure these two happen then only this uh, this sequence will be created. So, in this manner S 3 F 1 F 2 bar and S 4 F 1 F 2. Okay. Now, this is in terms of the system pivotal events like in pivotal event 1 and pivotal event 2 or system 1 failure and system 2 failure you are writing. But what we are interested to know we are interested to know how the basic events here with reference to system 1 and system 2 failures basic events are linked with this with this sequence this four sequence that is basically linking fault 3 with the accident sequences. In order to do so you require to find out the cut set for the system 1 as well as system 2. So, all of you know that what is cut set, cut set basically is a set where if all the basic events of that set occurs then the system event top event occur. Now, if I consider the first one that system 1 failure, then what is happening here system 1 failure if C occurs system will 1 will fail, if A occurs system 1 will fail because of OR gate. But A and B simultaneous occurrence also lead to system failure and D and E simultaneous occurrence lead to system 1 failure. So, as a result how many sets you will get? You will get because OR gate increases the number of sets. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the first one is C, second one is F, third one is G 1 basically A into B, fourth one is G 2 D into E. So, this is in Boolean expression we have written this is basically the failure of system 1 which it can be in terms of cut set, cut set for failure of system 1 it can be written like this. This plus symbol is nothing but union. Now, similarly for system 2 you can write because it said it is basically OR gate. So, A, F and G that means the 3 cut sets are there and in boolean 
term uh, form we can write like this f equal to a plus f plus g. Okay. Now, let us see that how we will get the sequence using this this basic events a f g c f a b something like this. Okay. So, that is what is a job what is our job then we want to link the fault tree with the accident sequences by accident sequences we understand basically the path by accident scenario the end state like s1 s2 s3 s4 so s1 s2 s3 s4 these end states it these all basically will result if initiating event occurs and and depending on the behavior of the system against the initiating event what will happen different scenarios will be developed with 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 maybe with higher level of severity if the protection system or the pivotal events are successful so then successful means basically uh, able to fight against the initiating event the severity will be no, less or there will be completely safe situation or otherwise that situation will um, severity wise it will increase. Now, we want to link these accidents sequence or scenarios with the with the basic event of the uh, of the protection systems failures or the uh, that con that configuration of the protection configuration. By protection configuration with reference to this example we understand system 1 and system 2 other way you can say layer 1 and layer 2 layer 1 protection layer 2 protection like this. And then our ultimate job is that find out the suppose value of S i i equal to 1 to 4 in reference to this basic events. So, we <coughs> if we want this event this event to occur this one to occur then then what are the basic events in terms of uh, system 1 and system 2 that should occur that will ultimately again result in cut sets. So, we will find out next the cut sets. Let us understand <coughs> for the S 2. So, let us see. So, you all know that what is S 2 when system F 1 means system 1 successful system 2 failure. Okay. Now, system 2 failure F 2 what is the cut set and F 1 cut set if I okay, it is already there fine. So, sorry suppose F 1 what is F 1? F 1 is C plus F plus A B plus D E and F 2 is A plus F plus G that is what we know. Now, S 2 is F 1 bar and F 2 F 1 bar means the success of the system 1. So, from here we want to know F 1 bar. So, if you use the D, D Morgan principle what will be the F 1 bar? F 1 bar will be C bar intersection F bar then intersection will be union A bar plus B bar into that is again intersection D bar plus E bar. So, C will be converted to if when we are writing that F bar success of the system 1. So, C will be C bar F will be F bar A bar B bar D bar E bar like this, but this union will become intersection and intersection will become union. So, that is what is written here. Okay. Now, if you expand this then you will be getting this one. 
Okay. If you expand, you will be getting this. So, then F 1 bar is A bar, C bar, D bar, F bar, B plus B bar, C bar, D bar, F bar plus A bar, C bar, E bar, F bar plus B bar, C bar, E bar, F bar. Okay. Now, what is the sequence? Sequence is S 2 which is F 1 bar into F 2. So, we are writing like this here F 1 bar into F 2. So, what is F 2? F 2 is A plus F plus G. So, if you write here F 1 bar F 2, so then F 1 bar into A plus F 1 bar into F plus F 1 bar into G. Okay. Now, you have seen that what is F 1 bar here? This is the F 1 bar. So, if you multiplied A or intersection A and A bar, so what will be the value? This will be 0 because A and its complement there is no intersection. So, as a result in the in F 1 bar wherever A is there all those terms will vanish if we multiply f 1 bar with a. So, this will vanish, this will vanish. What is remaining? b c d f bar and b c e f bar which will be multiplied by a. So, that means a b bar c bar d bar f bar this one. Then a b bar c bar e bar f bar a this two. Now, if intersection f bar will be 0, so everywhere f is there, so no term will be available for this all will become 0. Now, f 1 bar g in f 1 bar there is no g, so all the terms will be multiplied by g, so that is why g a bar c bar d bar f bar and like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, you get this one is basically the, the cut set basically for S 2. So, that means, if this situation will occur S 2 will occur, this situation will occur S 2 will occur something like this with reference to the basic event of the two system level fault tree system 1 and system 2. So, that is what is known as cut sets with accident scenario. This scenario is S2. So, what will happen? <coughs> there are two situations. Situation 1, if we if we consider that situation 1, you are considering that basic events are certain to occur, success states of basic events are certain, sure. What does it mean? This means, what are the success state for basic event A, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, D, E, F bar, these are all success events from the basic event A, B, C, D, E, F bar. So, if we assume that that all success events are certain to uh, certain to occur because that is ob that is obvious for high risk plan and that should that much reliability should be there then what will happen this b bar c bar d bar f bar all bars that item will become one so as a result what will be the s2 value here a here also a a plus a is a only and then ultimately this all g g plus g plus g. So, that means, a plus a plus g plus g plus g, but these are nothing but in boolean form this is basically a plus g. So, if we consider all the basic events as all the success of the basic uh, that um, components they are certain to occur then the sequence S 2 sequence is A plus G, I mean failure of A and failure of G. So, that is what we have, we have written in the first. So, your cut set will be this. Now, <coughs> you may think differently also that 
the you con instead of considering the basic events certain to occur you may consider that the system one is certain to occur in the sense system success of system one is certain to occur then what will happen then f1 bar will be 1 and you will get h2 a plus f plus g so that mean a plus g is there but one more f is coming one more cut set is coming so this will not this is not correct so it is recommended that you please don't consider you please don't consider uh, this type of assumption that system 1 will occur because when you have the cut sets okay so then uh, let us see the another one let us go for sequence 4 in sequence 4 both the system fails so you will you know f1 and what are the cut set for f2 a plus f plus g so write down f1 a f plus f1 dot a plus f1 dot g so you you can multiply and finally go forward and you will may you will ultimately land up with uh, some cut sets which will be um, definitely correct cut sets but here we are showing some boolean expression to make the uh, math, uh, mathematics simpler or the uh, it will reduce the number of steps. So, what are the math boolean expression? When you say x in uh, intersection a, we can write that x given a equal to true intersection a or x intersection a bar you can write x given a equal to false intersections a bar if you follow this and then simplify this one what is going to happen you see s4 that mean f1 a f1 given a true into a second one f1 given f true into f third one is f1 given g true into g now f1 given a true so all of you know what is f1 c plus a plus a b plus d e then f1 given a true that means this will always happen so this will become c plus a plus b plus d e so as a result you are writing that f1 given a true it is c plus a plus b plus d e and into a now f1 given f true into f this is basically true f so you are writing true f because here f is there f1 f is also true now third one you uh, what will happen f1 given g equal to true into g so here you see c plus a plus a b plus d there is no g the same thing is there multiplied by g so as a result what is happening this true f this coming as a cut set f c plus a plus b plus d e is coming like this and this one becoming this interesting thing is there that already f is a cut set so if you and another one f a and f g is coming in other cut sets so already as the minimal cut set is f so that means f a and f g will not be will not be required so that is what is written here as f is already in the cut set that further cut set from a p where p may be here a b all those things it is not required so that means this results into this what will happen f then c plus b plus d c plus b plus d into a because this intersection this is not required similarly c plus a b plus d into g so this is not required so if you proceed in this manner what will happen further you see that you are getting f now c okay okay let it be like this so finally if you expand this you will be getting this a plus a c a b a d e c g a b g d e g now you see a b is there again a b g is there so a b is a cut set so what is the need of a b g it is not required similarly maybe d e g 
DEGAC, okay, I think in others are not there. So, that means what will happen? ABG will be not required. So, this becomes F, this AC, AB fine, ADE fine, CG fine, this is not required, DEG is coming. So, that is basically the resultant cut set for S4, sequence 4. This is what is linking cut sets with accident scenario. Now, let us see one example that is the pressure tank example and you all know this example we have discussed several times. So, here uh, the situation is like this when there is pump overrun. So, under this situation to, to protect the tank from overpressure situation uh, what will there, there will be operator shutdown and there will be pressure protection. Uh, operator shutdown given the some other features of the system. So, as a result what happen when operator shutdown will take place there will be a fault tree for operator shutdown and the, um, the operator shutdown will may be successful may be failure and depending on the uh, fault tree you will get the probability. So, with reference to pressure tank example we found out that this this is 0 0.03 that operator value that is point zero 0.03. Then what will be the success 1 minus 0 0.03 that is basically 0 0.97. And in pressure protection what is there? We have the relief bulb. So, relief bulb should work. If relief bulb fails to open what will happen? Over pressure situation will also arise. So, now the relief valve uh, that failure probability that means fails to open we consider 0 0.26. It is a very high value cons we consider, but it should not be uh, that high value. So, so what will happen then the scenarios? There are three scenarios. See, the first scenario is basically pump overrun exists, operator shutdown successful. So, pressure protection this is not um, important here. So, no rupture this is the scenario. Second one is that operator shutdown failure, but pressure protection successful this is the no rupture case scenario 2. And third one is the pressure operator shutdown failed, pressure protection also fail then rupture will take place this is the third scenario. Now, as we have discussed earlier in the same manner what happened you just find out the fault tree for this fault tree for this. Here in this particular example that operator shutdown fault tree when we are developing we are finding out the three basic events they are linked with linked with OR gate and as a result you are getting cut sets like this three cut sets. So, if I say the failure here this is this is F 1 then F 1 is that is S C plus O R plus P G. Here in the second system that is the it is basically the basic event relief bulb failure. So, pump failure means relief bulb failure there is there is only that is R f is the is the failure event ok its probability is like this. Now, <coughs> for the time being you just think of that you want that what is happening here that scenario 3. So, if we say P o exist P o exist that means probability of P o equal to 1. Now, what is the O s? O s you will see that what we are saying S 1 or we can write this O s equal to F 1 which is basically S c plus O r plus P g. Then what will be that O s bar that that will be the total bar plus P g total bar which will be S c bar intersection O r bar intersection P g bar. So, <coughs> using the same philosophy what we have discussed earlier. So, uh, ultimately what happened you just um, you can find out O s bar, but here O s bar is not required where is O s bar required O s bar will be required here. So, in this case you use this formula find out the sequence in this case we require O s and P p that is that is S c plus O r plus P g 
which will be multiplied by PP which is basically RF. So, as a result the rupture scenario rupture scenario if I want to the get the fault tree which is S 3 in this case S 3 in this case. So, this will be your O S into P P is nothing but R F where O S is S C plus O R plus P G into R F. So, that means here S C into R F plus O R R F plus P G R F. So, three different cut sets you are getting here. So, that is what we have discussed in next slide. What is there? So, you will get for different scenarios these are the cut sets and as P O we are considering it is 1. So, given the probability already given in last slide. So, you are getting probability of for the first scenario no rupture probability is this. Second case there are 3 different cut sets. So, ultimately you are getting the 3 probabilities and they will be summed up. Third case rupture case also 3 different cut sets there are 3 different probability that will be summed up. So, then in thus in this case your pressure protection as well as the operator shutdown or I can say the system configurations against PO exist. So, that the tank rupture will not take place that is 0 0.97 plus 0 0.0222. So, and here it is 0 0.97. So, how much it is 0 0.9922 it is a more than 99 percent uh, chance that nothing will happen. But if we consider the case if the severity is very high because rupture is a high severity case. So, it should not be this much it should be even much much lower than this, okay. but this has happened because we have considered that R f failure is very frequent 0 0.26. If you consider R f failure is very less suppose 0 0.026 what will happen this 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 will the probability will this probability will further de reduced this probability of success will improve. Okay. So, this is what is the in nutshell uh, that uh, our topic on uh, that uh, link linking fault tree with uh, you with your event tree or other way I can say the accident sequences and finding out the cut sets of the accident sequences. So, this this is subjective uh, it is a very simple simple one. But please remember you equate to know the Boolean algebra because when you have uh, complex fault tree. So, that time manually in this manner the way we have explained it is not possible. Okay, thank you very much hope you have enjoyed it.